Chase Jackson, founder of Energy Easy, providing personal and professional vitality, lifestyles of the young and hungry. This video gives some awesome tips on building relationships. Building relationships are super important in everything that we do, whether it's with family, friends, or in our professional careers. And I think a great example of this that makes me laugh is think about when you meet somebody for the first time in a public place or you see an acquaintance or a friend that you haven't seen for a while, what do you guys usually start talking about? Usually start talking about the weather or a public figure or a sporting event. And let's be real here. In those conversations, no one's really too interested in that topic itself. What everyone is doing is just kind of feel around and trying to enhance or build that relationship or see if that relationship is still there. Importance of building relationships. Here's some tips. This is awesome. This is exciting. Let's do it. Tips number one and two in enhancing and building relationships. Number one, offer help without being asked. Most of us are good, caring people and when someone asks for our help, we are happy to give it. But taking the initiative and offering your time, resources, and contribution without being asked is a great way to enhance relationships. Number two, take a hit. Be accountable when it's not necessarily your uh, spot to be accountable. But if something goes wrong in a business deal or there's something going on with your family where you just stepping up and being accountable and taking the hit can make a difference and get the situation solved and everyone moving on, do it. Take the hit. Building relationships. This is fun. Tip number three, know when to dial it up and know when to dial it down. People who are great at building, enhancing, and maintaining relationships have a strong sixth sense in understanding of the room and situation and people that they are surrounded with at all times. This means that they know when it is time to step up and take more of a leadership position. They know when it is time to step back and let other people take that role. They know when it's time to try and be humorous and try and make others laugh. And they know when it's time to be quiet and introverted and more reflective. Know when to dial it up, know when to dial it down, know the situation you're in. Yes, we know you're loud and outgoing in your personality, but don't be the person that's just like, that's just who I am, I can't stop that. That doesn't work. You won't be very good at building and maintaining relationships. Dial it up or dial it down. Tip number four, go into a new relationship or in a relationship that you have giving rather than hoping to receive or get something. Any self-development professional or top business professional will tell you that this is really the number one thing that they encounter with people is that when they're trying to start a new relationship, they are always trying to get something from that person rather than give something. What can they offer and what can they give? And amazingly, in terms of our self-help, uh, giving is much more rewarding than the receiving anyway and what we think we would benefit from that other party. Tip number four, go in giving rather than asking for something. This is exciting, I'm excited. Tip number five in building and enhancing relationships and my favorite tip is to value the message more than the messenger. It is common for all of us to put more value in input and advice and words of wisdom from people of power and people that are famous more so than the average person. We will listen to business advice more from a business CEO rather than the janitor of that company. And people who are great at building relationships listen carefully and take value in the message, the actual words themselves, 
rather than the social hierarchy place that they come from. Put value in the message rather than the messenger. Tip number five, building relationships. We're doing it. Author and scientific researcher Martin Seligman, author of books such as Optimism, Authentic Happiness, and Flourish, is known as the worldwide leader in terms of researching what makes us happy and uh, what helps us find fulfillment as human beings. And the three things are building relationships, self-development, and giving back, service. What this shows is that the science backs up the fact that building relationships is really important in us finding success, happiness, and fulfillment in our lives. So the next time that you are in a public place and you start talking with somebody and you guys start talking about something random like the weather or start talking about something like that, forget about it, get to the nitty gritty, look them in the eye and say, are we enhancing this relationship or not? Chase Jackson, founder of Energy Easy, providing personal and professional vitality. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day, and we will see you tomorrow.